Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe before you go! Thank you! She ranked 37th in Forbes China Celebrity 100 list, 16th in 2019, and 11th in 2020. Dil Raba Dil Murat or Dili Reba, was born on June 3, 1992 in Xinjiang, China. She is an influential Chinese actress of Uyghur ethnicity. Her height is 170 centimeters or 5 feet and 7 inches tall. She graduated from Shanghai Theater Academy and currently signed under JWOX Studio since 2014. In her debut role in 2013 in Arhan, who she played a lead role, received a nomination for Outstanding Television Series at the 30th Flying Osparos Awards. She then signed to JWOX Studio and garnered rising popularity in the hit fantasy action drama, Swords of Legends. Dilly Reba won her first acting award in 2015, for her role as a sassy pop star in the romantic comedy drama, Diamond Lover. She won the audience's favorite newcomer award at the 7th China TV Drama Awards for her performance. In 2016, Dil Raba was cast as the leading role in the youth sports drama, Hot Girl. She also won the Best Actress Award at the China TV Golden Eagle Award for her performance in romantic comedy drama Pretty Lee Hue Jun which was a remake of the South Korean drama, She Was Pretty. She went on to be crowned the Golden Eagle Goddess at the 12th China Golden Eagle TV Art Festival, and might we just say, she looked gorgeous in a glamorous gown. She next starred in the fantasy romance drama Eternal Love, which gained explosive popularity in China as well as internationally. Though she was a supporting role in this drama, because of the massive fame, she was known to wider audiences. She then starred in the historical romance drama, The King's Woman with Vin Zhang. This is one of my favorite dramas of Dili Reba, because of its interesting characters, intriguing and addictive story. Though I prefer Dili Reba in Eternal Love because she was able to depict her character there closely. In this series, she is wholly unimpressive as the lead and lack the toughness the character requires. On a basic level, it is watchable and entertaining enough to see the good-looking costumes, actors, cinematography, and martial arts scenes. To show her variety stint, she joined the fifth season of Keep Running as a cast member. By 2017, Forbes China listed Dili Reba on the list of 30 under 30 age of 2017, which consisted of 30 influential people under 30 years old, who have had a substantial effect in their fields. The next year 2018, she then starred in the Wuxiao romance drama, The Flame's Daughter with Vin Zhang and Vic Cho, and the science fiction romantic comedy drama, Sweet Dreams with Alan Dang. After having seen The King's Woman, my expectations were a little bit too high. The actors seemed interesting and the trailer looked neat, too, so I was really looking forward to watching it. The drama really had so much potential going for it, amazing cast, a good production team, great story but there seems to be something lacking. The chemistry between the leads seems to be off though I love Vixen's Meteor Garden 2002 Days and Dilly Reba. I was really hoping that Dilly Reba would improve in some of the scenes but didn't see any improvement here. Though I wish she would harness her skills more by taking challenging roles. Honestly, if you're a fan of the leads and are easily satisfied if the drama is aesthetically pleasing, you'll enjoy this drama. If you're looking for a substantial drama with a good plot, character development, and acting, then Flame's Daughter misses most of that. Again, this is another example of a drama that could have really won the crowd over, if only it was a good drama in the first place. In 2019, Dilly Reba showcased her singing skills by appearing in CCTV New Year's Gala for the first time, performing the song item China Happy Events. She later also joined the fifth season of Go Fighting. As a regular cast member, in 2020, she starred in the fantasy romance drama Eternal Love of Dream reprising her role as Feng Jiu from Eternal Love. This is also known as, Three Lives Three Worlds, The Pillow Book. The series surpassed 190 million views on the first day of release, and over 1 billion views in just a week. This drama is beautiful, touching, 
and you get to experience love and trial throughout three different lives. The drama followed closely with the book, though with different sequencing. I'd say it has a slow start, but after episode 20, it evolved to become an unforgettable story. But I can't deny that the chemistry of Bingo Gao and Dilly Reba are out of this world. When you put an actor and actress with explosive visuals, you just can't take your eyes off the screen. Though the acting was not Oscar level acting which I expected but Bingo Gao and Dilly Reba's acting still make you feel the moment. Overall, this drama is splendid and did not fail my expectations. I'm really glad they used the same cast, I cannot imagine how this drama would have went with a different crew. And also you don't need to have seen Eternal Love to watch this drama. In the same year, she starred in the workplace romance drama, Love Advanced Customization, portraying a fashion designer. I have not watched this drama yet but as for Chucky, Dilly Reba plays a character who is not naive, silly, and clumsy. This is an office romance story around a fashion designer and a boss of an e-commerce company. These two stubborn characters collided with each other and the contradictions were overwhelming. They encounter work-related problems including conflicts of interest and struggles with work-life balance. If you already watched the show, was it binge-worthy? Please comment below and let me know. <coughs> Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe before you go. Thank you.